In today's video, I'm going to show you full optimization guide for the Fortnite Season 4, how you can boost your FPS, fix FPS drops, and status video any low-end PC or laptop. So guys, make sure to watch my this whole video. And here are the legend which recently subscribed my channel. And if you want to get mention in my next video, so please subscribe, turn on the bell notification, drop a like on this video. So let's go straight into over this video. So guys, in the first step, you need to clean all the old and the junk data of the previous season from your PC. How you can do it? You need to press Windows R together from your keyboard. And now you need to type here percentage sign temps percentage and click ok and you will go to this window now press ctrl a from your keyboard and delete all of these files from this folder once you delete it now close out this folder again press windows r together from your keyboard and now this time and remove this percentage sign before and after the temp and click ok and also delete all of this file from this folder or the directory so guys in the second step you need to download the fortnite chapter 3 season 4 full optimization pack on your pc link available down in the description open up the link from description and that will take you here onto my this website so here you will find out the same thumbnail of my this current video and you need to open up that same article from this website sometime it will open up the ad simply close out this tab it will take you on this next page read the skip ad instruction and click on this download button it will take you on the media file or the google drive and download this pack on your pc once you download it now double click here and open up the zip file drag this folder here on your desktop now guys you need to open up this folder and here is a bunch of file first here is the amd radio settings cp optimization gaming input delay and the msi utility version 2 so you need to use it one by one on your pc for getting the max performance out of your pc so in the first step open up this folder which is the cp optimization and there you will find out the bar control for unlocking all of the core of your pc so double tap here and install the software as usual you install the other software click ok i agree next and install the software on your pc after installation you will get this kind of the interface of this software click on this drop down and select the best power plan of the windows from the software click on this make activate and disable all of this option and set it on to the 100 percent hit apply and also click ok go for the bit some dynamic boost enable check mark here on this box and click ok and guys don't update this software because this is the free one and if you update it then you need to purchase it and this software will keep running in your background whenever you turn on your pc so once you're done with this step now go back into the main directory of your boost pack and open up the msi utility version 2 open up this folder and make sure to run this software as the administrator otherwise this will not open up once you guys open the software that is the msi mode utility and here is the interface now find out here your gpu name like my gpu name is the nvidia geforce rtx 3070 find out your gpu name go for the msi box and check mark on this box then go for the interrupt purity and set it on to the high then click apply and close out this application now go back into the main directory again of your boost pack and open up this folder which is the gaming folder and here you need to install this registry file on your pc for the optimization first here we got the game bar in our windows 10 and 11 and you can disable it using this registry if you are using the xbox game bar so i will not suggest to disable it like i'm also using it game bar in my forza horizon 5 so therefore i'm not disabling the xbox game bar but if you are not using it so simply turn off the xbox game bar once you close it now go back go for the next folder which is the game mode in windows 10 so make sure to turn on the game mode double tap here click yes click ok go back go for the recording for your game and the broadcasting and also disable this option from here double click here click yes click yes again and click ok now go back and here is our last folder which is the hardware accelerated gpu scheduling for putting your gpu for the max performance for all the games so open up this folder and now it's time for enabling this option so here is the second option which is hardware accelerated gpu scheduling enable so double click here click yes click yes again and click ok and now go back into the main directory of the boost pack so guys here next we got our input delay reduce folder so you need to open up this folder and here you will find the islc simply extract this file and here you will go to this folder open up this folder double click here click yes and open up this software 
now what you need to do go for this one to time resolution and go for this option and type here 0 0.05 and check mark onto the enable custom time resolution then here you will find out the standby list with be purge when these two conditions are fulfilled so for the list size you need to put here the same exact value and for the free memory is lower than for the second box you need to right click here on your start icon go for the task manager go for the performance tab and open up the memory tab and there you can check it out here i have the 16 gb of the ram and now i need to type here the half size of my ram in mb so i have 16000 mb of the ram so i'm typing here 8000 mb if you have the 8 gb of the ram so you need to type here 4000 once you're done go for the islc polling rate ms so set it on to the 1000 and click on the start button and minimize the software and it will keep running in your background and make sure to turn on the software before launching the fortnite therefore you can get the lowest input delay so guys now go back into the main directory of this boost pack and here is our last folder which is the amd radeon settings and follow the settings for the best performance with your amd radeon gpu so once you guys done with these settings now in the second step you need to disable all of the background running application from your pc for this press windows out together from your keyboard and type here gp edit dot mse and press enter from your keyboard and this window pop up on your screen go for windows computer configuration administrative template windows component app privacy and go for this left window app run in the background double tap here go for the default for all app set it on to the force deny and go for this option which is the enable hit apply click ok and close out this window so guys now in the second step i'm going to show you how you can disable the full screen optimization for the fortnite for getting the stutter free gameplay into the fortnite new season for this open up the file explorer go for the drive where you install your fortnite so i have installed in this local dc so open up this drive go for the program file find out the epic games folder fortnite fortnite games binary win 54 and here is the directory of the fortnite now go for your fortnite exe file go for the properties go into the compatibility section check mark onto the disable full screen optimization hit apply and click ok and do the same settings for all these exe file or the launcher file of the fortnite so now in the next step i'm going to show you to optimize your drives for the best performance on your windows and into the fortnite so again open up the file explorer go into this pc go for the properties of your local dc go into the tool section click here onto this optimize button and optimize your disk drive for the best performance also guys i recommend you to optimize your hard drives for the best performance of your computer so guys now in the next step i'm going to show you the best settings for the fortnite config files therefore you can get stutter free gameplay and you can get more fps and fix the fps drops so for this guys again you need to press windows art together from your keyboard and now this time you need to type here app data and press enter from your keyboard go into this local folder find out here fortnite game folder go for the save config windows client and here is over fortnite game user settings so right click here go for the properties and make sure this box which is read only this is uncheck then click ok for editing your game settings right click here go for show more option and click on this edit button and you will got this kind of the interface of your game user settings file now scroll down And there you will find out the scalability group and there guys you need to now change the settings make sure to set all the settings onto the zero like you can check it out here i set all the settings onto the zero and now here is the resolution quality guys set it according to your pc specs if you have a low end pc so i suggest type here 60 or 70 if you have a mid end pc go with the 85 and if you have a good high end pc and you are a competitive player so you can go with the 100 percent once you're done with the settings also guys always use the performance mode if you have a low end pc then go for this file option and click on the save button and close out your game your settings file with the best settings so guys now into the last step i'm going to show you how you can use the all the cores of your cpu and set your pc for the best performance for now guys you need to press windows r together from your keyboard and type here ms config and press enter from your keyboard 
go for this boot option go for the advanced option and check mark onto the number of processor and set this drop down menu onto the maximum number which you have on your pc then click ok hit apply click ok and restart your pc one time therefore all the changes which we have done on our pc that will take effect then launch your fortnite and enjoy the best performance into the brand new season of the fortnite season 4 and also guys let me know the performance increase you get after doing the settings so thanks for watching this video and till at the next video peace out